There's been a lot of crying and screaming over Overwatch, but you gotta admit, you like it, don't you, gamer? That's why, if you're anything like me and you put a bunch of hours in Overwatch, you might feel like the game feels a little bit weird. And maybe you might need some practice in it after so much time. So, with this, I hope that you guys be able to get a better understanding of why the game might feel different and why things might be a bit weird. So what we want to do first is we want to open up the custom game modes and look for aim training and save these settings. All you have to do is right click, save, give it any name that you're looking for, maybe just aim training. Uh, it keeps it simple and you want to save that. Then you want to create, go to settings, go to presets, and then click on whatever you named it. And this will give you a lobby that you can play between games and whenever you feel like it, where there are bots that move around with, you know, the character models, uh, different damage buffs, different difficulties, and damage numbers with infinite ammo. You'll be able to check all your stats, you'll be able to keep up with yourself, you will be able to use this in so many positive ways. Just keeping myself familiar with the character models has increased my DPS by like 2,000 per game. If you weren't convinced by a simple aim trainer, go to the gameplay tab and enable high precision mouse input. Now, this should just be default. It is night and day for most people. This is basically an upgrade to your mouse's responsiveness. I haven't met a person this hasn't helped. Head on over to controls and change hero. Most people don't do this, but every hero here can be changed in a certain way that will make them better for you to play. Be it key bindings or hero specifics. Heroes like Winston. Heroes like Sojourn. And then I believe heroes like Baptiste and Kiriko all benefit from switching your main and off-handed fire. Complete game change. And then heroes like Lecree, Ash, Widowmaker, and Ana. So basically all the snipers benefit from recoil recovery aim compensation being on or off. Here I just wanted to give an example of what it can look like to change your key binding. This is what I play Zenyatta like. This is what I'm like on the enemy team. If I see you for a split second, I'm able to put a discord orb on you because I have it key bound to my mouse wheel. And the same with my harmony orb. So if I just see my ally for a split second, I can throw it on him. Now, as I said earlier, things like recoil, recovery, aim, compensation are pretty personal and hero specific, but just like everything else here, you want to inch out as much as you can for that edge over other people, and things like this really do matter, because with it on, it kind of pulls your reticle a bit, so with it off, it could change everything. I mean, for me, it was night and day. You know, I can aim a bit better. It doesn't save you from every aspect of aiming, but it can change it enough to the point that it may win you so many games. You know what I mean? This could be the thing that turns you into a McCree main, or a Widow main, or an Ash main, or an Ana main. You never know. But Every little thing you do compiles into a competitive edge against your enemies.